All right, well, I probably got all my parts, or what I think I have all my parts. I've got my crankshaft, new connecting rod, new 10 over piston. Where does it say 10 over? Right there. 10 over. Bad area. Bad area. I've already cleaned up all the bad areas. So that this thing will slide in and out. I've checked the ring gap. Ring gap is a little bit big. If you look in the book, what ring gap is, is I'll show you. These are the old piston rings. See that gap right there? That's ring gap. This is obviously more than 20 thousandths. And the book, these are nice rings too. Poly, poly uh, Molly Polos or whatever the heck they're called. But if you look back here, ring end gap between seven and twenty thousandths. So I've got that going for me. I gotta clean up this barrel. And I just put these piston rings on here. I gotta clean up all these piston rings here, but got the oil ring on the bottom. <coughs> This book actually tells me right here. See the top one? See the little edge cut in it? That is the compression ring, which I actually have backwards on this. So, hmm. Huh. Oh. You guys can't see it, but see that cut edge on the ring? That little forty-five degree angle right there. Gotta be facing up. Hmm. There we go. Now they're on right. So I got to clean up this piston. Use the piston pin and my new connecting rod. Start putting this thing together. Clean up the head some too. It's gonna have nice compression in this thing. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going on this. I wanna get this piston in here. And the, uh, oh, I gotta put the seal in too. The seal is right over there. All right, well, I got lots of work to do. Once I get this piston mounted on my connector rod, I'll, sh I'll show you more. See you in a bit.